Welcome back. Animal Aid for Vermilion has joined us. If you're a regular viewer of News 15 today, you uh, have seen Simone on here before. Last time we were talking about Frenchie, which is a beautiful dog. And we're kind of curious what happened to, before we get to Butch, that's the dog you see on the screen now, <laughs> I want to talk about Frenchie. Uh, what happened to Frenchie? So Frenchie, after our uh, last segment, got transported to one of our sister associations uh, named Wag On In in New Jersey. And she is in and out of a foster home there getting some formal training because we saw she was kind of active. She was kind of playful, um, but though. she's she's doing awesome. So she took a two day trip up to New Jersey, mm -hmm. as many of our animals do mm -hmm. that end up in our foster care. Um, but she's up there. She's living her best life. Well, I think we could maybe mm -hmm. have a picture uh, that we can possibly put up on the screen of Frenchie because I, I, I said, Simone, I got to see Frenchie because I <laughs> love this dog. She has such attentive airs. There she is. Yeah, man, I love it. And, then, and you can see, obviously, Frenchie has to wear the French flag there, uh -uh. bandana, yeah. of course, stay with it. Uh, but love to see that she's doing great. And mm -hmm. gosh, she was such a sweet little pup. But yeah, she did have energy. She looks she looked kind of melancholy right there. It's just like, she's enjoying her New Jersey lifestyle, mm -hmm. I think. Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, going to have to adjust for the winter, definitely, yeah. from our from our temperatures down here. Yeah. Oh, now we've got somebody else who's, who's coughing here. You got a, you got a cold? We, we know Alice Forstell has a cold, too. We're, we're hoping <laughs> wishing her speedy recovery. This is Butch, and then Jerry is, you know, what you call it, foster daddy. Yeah, foster like dad. Foster daddy. Yeah. So, so tell us about Butch. Butch has been with us, with our organization for several months, but Mr. Jerry has recently taken him in, so he's been in foster care for about a month. He is two to three years old, um, a Mastiff mix, and we are looking to find his forever home. He is uh, kennel trained, crate trained, house trained, big old teddy bear. Not yeah. quite sure if he knows his size just yet, as you can see. On the couch. <laughs> he, when he, so when, when you're looking at, at him, he, he's, he's looking at you like, can I play with you? Like that's mm -hmm. honestly, that's, that's, that's mm -hmm. right there in that face. All I want to do is play. B big old Paul's in this guy, but I mean, what, what a s sweet little face. There. You got big old cheeks. <laughs> you are such a sweet pup. Gentle giant, basically yeah. what he is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get him riled up because I, I want to play with <laughs> yeah. him. And I can tell he just go a mile right. a minute. Oh, he would. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's strong, but he's fun. Yeah. How long have you been watching, Butch? About a month. About a month? About a month. Yeah. We've, we've got him with four other dogs, larger dogs, and he gets along with them great. Mm -hmm. you know, no aggression. He just, he just wants to play. Butch uh, has met children before. He's good with kids, so we don't want that size to intimidate anybody. He's just, he doesn't know he's that big. He thinks he's a lap dog. Yeah. <laughs> and he might need some chew toys. I kind of Some think. chew I, toys, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking for he's treats got, right now. He's got to drive to, <laughs> to chew a little bit, so just one thing to be nice about. Yeah, yeah. Right. which is a great thing. I, uh, they got the, I was telling about this great little toys that they have at the any shop here in town. But, hey, folks, we have to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for coming on. No problem. Uh, I hope you find a great home, buddy. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll be back after the break. Animal Aid for Vermilion Area is back with us. You are looking at Butch. Gosh, <laughs> Butch is such a pretty pup. Uh, but we actually have another dog to talk about real quick. Frenchie was here. Simone Sherry came by with Frenchie and uh, he actually ended up in New Jersey. I believe we have a little QR code because the, the cool thing about this, that I like this new technology that you have. Mm -hmm. You can scan this right now, take out your phone, scan this, and this will tell you what, Simone? This will take you to uh, a website called Pet Finders that most of the organizations in the area use. All of the animals in our care and animal aids care are listed on pet finders as well as other animals from other local organizations that are available. They tell you bios, everything you need to know about them. And you'd have that at your website and also on Facebook, so you can do, do that there. But uh, it's kind of nice because what you guys do is you really try to find a home for, for pups that might be in threat of, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, euthanized. You know? Yes, Correct. So absolutely. The <coughs> shelters around here, especially ours in Vermilion, are constantly uh, facing that threat. Mm -hmm. So the QR, the pet finders, gives everybody a chance to see who we have available so we can make sure we find the perfect fits and fit we, for them. <laughs> one of them who's available is Butch, and this mm -hmm. is uh, Butch's handler, Foster Daddy, I don't Jerry. know, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to give you, you all good. the nicknames. Oh, you, you got. Good. Hey, I got a few. You, you got some, he, so you, he's sitting for you. Did you train him how to do this stuff, or was this your work, or what? No, when I got him at the from the shelter, he knew the basics, sit mm -hmm. and shake, obviously, and we just work on him from there, you know, just he goes in the kennel, no problem, he gets along, he listens to no, so, all around, just a good dog, you yeah, know. Which is dog. a prime example of how there are gyms at all the local shelters. Yeah. We can't we can't stereotype them just because they're there. 
<laughs> you want to play. He wants to play. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Jerry. Thank no you, problem. Simone, for coming on. Folks, we'll be back after the break. Stay with us. News 15 today will return. <laughs>